What is going on everyone? Welcome to my channel. My name is Max and this is my channel Grouper MVP and this is going to be part two of our first Red Snapper trip of the year. So right here, this is my setup that I use. It's an Avet HX Raptor two-speed reel. So you click here, it'll be in one. So this is like low gear and you can change it to high speed with this little lever right here. And it's a really good setup. It's on a CalStar 40 to 100 pound blank which is a really good rod. And I also have another setup, which is basically the same thing, but it's a, it has mono on it. It's another Avet HX Raptor in Mahi color, but this one has a Dogfish HD number 15, as you see right there. And you can get these at Dogfish, which is a local tackle shop in my area. And the setup that we use on these things for these Gag Grouper and Red Snapper is pretty simple. It's a typical fish finder rig. So we have a sinker, normally a six through 10 ounce. For a little deeper, we'll use 12 ounce. Then sometimes we'll put a little B just so when it hits, it doesn't damage the knot. Using like a 200 to 300 pound swivel right there. Just like to have extra just in case. And then the hook right now is a seven aught trocar circle hook, which I use for tarpon and grouper, which you can use any hook you want. And then I'm also gonna show you how we catch and find these red snappers. So we have these HD strike lens charts that just came out. I haven't got my hands on them yet, but they look epic. And I'm gonna show you them in a second right here. Now we are on the computer and this is the new strike lens hard bottom HD chart. If you use code grouper MVP, you'll get 10% off your chart. And there's a lot of stuff you get here. So this is, this is all the numbers you get, which is thousands. These are all gonna be your hogfish and shallow water stuff. And out here, this is gonna be all your gag grouper and red snapper stuff. It's pretty impressive what you get. They also have a Southwest version. So if you fish more South out of Naples area, there's tons of stuff. This will be your shallow stuff, mid range, red snapper, gag grouper stuff. And this is even like Pulley's Ridge, Muttonville area, which is very impressive. And then if you're in the Big Bend, which I'm sure this is all gag grouper, deep drop, red snapper stuff. A lot of bottom you're getting on those charts, so make sure to check them out. I have not got my hands on these charts yet, but if you use code grouper MVP, you'll get 10% off. And soon, I'll hopefully have these charts in my hand. But make sure to stay tuned and check out all these red snapper we catch. Get them off the bottom. Ryan is on. It is a gag. Oh, it's a red grouper. I think. I can't tell. Uh -oh. I got a red grouper. Decent one. Deep reeling. Deep reeling. Oh no, that was uh, Brent's fish. Yeah, it was all the way over there. Ooh. We have hopes for Ryan's fish. That's a gag. <laughs> Is Ryan going to be a grouper MVP? Stay tuned to find out. <laughs> or a red grouper maggot. <laughs> I'm already getting go. hit. Is that coming or what? I'm already getting hit. Come on, real. Oh gosh. It's a red snapper. This guy's 23. Throw him in. Yeah. It's a big one. Here we go. Ryan got a red snapper. Another good red snapper though. Yeah. Good job. I mean, that is a good one. I think it should be kept. Yeah, that's a good red snapper again. Max, if we keep that one, we yeah. have a baby. You're killing it. That's a good red snapper. Oh my lord. Look at that red snapper, guys. Ooh. All right, hold that up. That is a good one. Yes, oh, sir. Go. Ryan's got two giants now. Let's go. Then we got grouper.com slacking back there. It's been, as soon as you drop a bait to the bottom, you're getting hit. Yep. You may not like what gets it, but you're getting hit. Got him. Got him. Can't handle the cheat 
got them on the cheat code method. Brent's got one on. That's the grouper cut. Yeah, it's a red grouper. Red grouper. There he is. There you go. She's over. Uh... Oof. Come on. Ooh. You got a little surge in there. Uh oh. You are him, my friend. He is him. Oh, little drag. I have tight drag right now. I'm telling you guys. This is my good old friend. This boat's got some good drainage. I know it does. Dude, the yeah, the scuppers are off. The, the, they're higher up. Uh, so up yeah, just, they're above the water line. It drains quicker. The boats we have freedom are, are miserable. Oh, that's man. a. That's what a happened, Maxie? Yeah. The trunk that's snapper. Didn't shrink. That's a big one. Nah. Only like eight pounds. <laughs> Got a red snapper. Look at that show. That's crazy. Real, sir. See Bram? Yeah. Pressure zone. Come on. So the air in their body will kind of level out, then it's easy for them to swim down. You want this one, Mr. Berman? Yeah. Let's see this. Come on. See him. Um... See him yet? See color. Mm -hmm. Might be red snapper. Uh, it's a red snapper. Yeah, yeah, red snapper. Big boy. He's got another red snapper. It's a big red snapper. Well, let's. It may be your second one. That's pretty big. How big are we talking? Here. Can we help you? 15 pounds, or like 12, 12 pounds. His jaw is messed up. Oh yeah, that'd be a good one. There's another with a messed up jaw. Look at his jaw right there. Snapper. Yep. Ryan's got another fish. Now that's not confirmed yet. It's a red snapper. Another red snapper. Big one again? I don't know. It looks like it. Yeah, it looks like a decent red snapper. Brent's on. I got something. And I'm going to show you this device I got called a sequelizer. So I have it attached to this rod. And I send them down to the yeah. Basically, this top shot is just long enough that. Keep that. There's all these red snapper around, but I want the brown guy. Mr. Gag's coming up. 
That look about right. He's pumping blood out. Yeah, it's good. Hey, boy, he's pumping. Just cut the vein and he's pumping done. Yeah, that's good. Yeah. Pass the test. He'd rather it be on the deck than in his meat. Yes, sir. Can't All right, getting there. down to the bottom, we got a big boy pinfish on. Is everybody doing live right now? No, <laughs> we would never. Piling tire, do you need a break? No. <laughs> Total fun. I got a squirrely down right now. Did you see that squirrely down? No. Got oh, him. Th was that where you got that one on? That was on the one. Oh, I believe it. Hmm. What do you think you got? I don't know. I think scam? No! Oh. Could be red grouper. I just got him. Smaller guy. There's big red snaps. Red snaps. A red grouper. Non keeper. Could be. Max is too good for red grouper. He doesn't keep those. I'll let him go. Come on, Mr. Red Grouper. Alright, fish is a fish. I think it's more tangled. So. It feels like a red grouper. Where? I don't know, it's trying oh, yeah, to dig. Uh oh. It's waking up. Uh oh. Nice. Yeah, it is. It's close. Oh, there's some free chum. Oh, yo, fish. Your line's going yeah, to the right. As you saw, that was a pretty good red snapper bite. We got some good quality size ones. And hopefully you guys enjoyed that tackle breakdown where I showed the setups we use. We have had those Avet reels for years, probably like 10 years, barely get them serviced and they're just bulletproof. So I'd highly recommend them. I also have an Acura that I use, which that has been pretty reliable too. I'm not sure about any of the other group reels that are out there, but those are just the two main ones that I use. Also the Talica, that's a very good reel. But I also have that Strike Lines Hard Bottom HD Tamp Region chart coming in this week, so I'll definitely need to check that out, see how good it is, which it looks really good, and I've heard some really good things about it so far. But make sure to hit that subscribe button down below, and I'll see you next time.